Today, I'm playing in an online Catan tournament, but I'm going undercover. The reason why is because whenever I enter a tournament, everyone loves blocking me and robbing me, and it makes it very difficult to win. So I'm able to avoid this by going undercover. This is my tournament series where I play undercover. Hope you enjoy. So I'm playing on a brand new account, and it won't be in voice chat, but I will be listening in because other people recognize my voice. This is round three. So I'm playing in the third position. On this board, what I'm looking at over here is a 5, 8, 10. It's super strong for first position. Always whenever someone gets a double or a wheat, it is just always like a goaded spot over here. Then we have a second position. It gets drastically worse. I'd say something along the lines of the wheat is kind of rare here. So I think something like the 5, 9, 10 is probably a good second pick. And then for third position, which is me, I might have to lock the rest of the wheat by taking some type of uh, 3, 4, 6. I mean, I could see a world where I do 8. 4, 10, maybe 9, 10, 11, build all the way to the 8, 3. But that's relying I get on the 8, 3 heavily. And I might not get that if this guy takes 6, 4, 3 points right, or points upwards to race me. It's already a very tough pick, really, where black should always be getting robbed here. I'm hoping my opponents are able to recognize that, okay? 8, 4, 10. I think this is also a good pick over here. The thing is, 8, 4, 10 is actually a really strong pick in itself, too. I was hoping that they'd take this, because the 8 wood is actually really valuable on this board. I think you have to take some type of 5, 9, 10 here. The biggest thing with this 5, 9, 10 is that I'm looking to get, uh, you know, wood and ore with it. So I'm looking to get some type of basically, you know, 10, 9, 11, 4, 5, 11, and or 9, 9, 4, 11, which is a locking play. So if I decide to do this, the problem is, like, I would ideally like to be greedy and do something like this and be able to build to the three, like, build to somewhere like this. The problem is, since people go before me, I'm not going to be able to get all these extra triple hex spots. I could also simply just take the 6-4-11 and play off the brick port somehow. That's actually not a bad idea either. I could either use a 3-1 port, like this one over here. So to 5 nine, 10 like, either something like this, or this, or this. It's gross. Or I can do 6-4-11. Get in the brick port, plus what? Maybe some type of 4-5-11? I don't know, man. There's too many free roads. Three, third position is not very good here. Second position is 10 times better. 6-4-11 is not that bad, I don't think. It's like a worse version of this, but you get the brick port. I do think you get messed around with a little bit less. I think I'm willing to take this, actually. A worse version, but I get the brick port. And I'm, there's so much extra brick on this board, I think it's actually worth it. I'm not entirely sure about that move, though. I think black does get the 693. It's hard to prevent here. Like, who wants to take the 693? No one. So black gets a 693. This is going to be really tough to beat. Because black has a killer position. And I think they should be getting solo blocked a lot here. So this is what I thought. Like, some type of... Yeah, this is what I figured. And then this, this guy's in fourth position. There's several things I can do. I can either, one, try to do this point left. I don't think that does much, though. I can do this point right. But the problem is blue always takes a free road and plows me. This is a nasty position to be in. This is where you want to communicate... So if I do this, basically, I lock the entire board, and then I force blue to go on the 693. I think I might just take 5611 by itself, too, though, right? Since 5611 is not bad, because I lock, I get all the brick here. I get the brick port. I can build all the way here to the 912. So I do this, and I think, yeah, okay, cool. If he's not playing me, then I'd have to take this. The problem is I give black the 693, and I have to be okay with doing that, which is absolutely disgusting. Yeah, I have to do this. I don't know. I'm not sure. Since I could do the defensive play, right? Do 6 5, 6 11, force blue to probably take 6 9 3, then black has to take some disgusting position. Maybe that's the best move. What do you mean? Uh oh. Is he going to break his deal? Yeah, just, 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 um, I, I can take 692. Okay, shoot. Yeah, Blue's talking, thinking about taking the 693 and take, holding all the sheep. Which would honestly make him pretty strong, too. Ah, shoot. Maybe I should just do the d most defensive play possible, which is 5611. Force Blue to take this, and then Black just kind of goes on the 8-3 and, and sucks a fat one. Nah. The risky? 692. What the hell is this? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna try to table talk him. Okay, I'm trying to tell Black, don't go here because it's you have too much useless production, which is actually semi true. Honestly, maybe I might, as Black, I might even take this. Yeah, like, as Black, it's not too unreasonable to take 349. It's really not unreasonable. He could also extort the hell out of me here. Yeah, but this placement matters a lot. I'm taking a huge gamble by doing this 4 5 11 point right. And Zig could instantly plow me. I wonder if I can get help from the table. Because if I get plowed here, I just lose, I think. Shoot. Yeah, 
This is gross. This is disgustingly bad. I just lose the game now. There's not gonna be enough wood for people to even want to help me counterplow. This is all this... I don't know if I can even do this. Okay. I could have just done the safest move and just do this and just uh, lock down the board. Instead, I try, to, I try to get fancy and guarantee myself an expansion spot. Now, do I drop this extra road or not? I mean, this game's not over. This is still, still a strong position in itself. I can city, city, road, settle, road, like city, city, settle here. I don't blame you. Okay, cool. I just have to go ahead and get myself onto this um, 11 spot. Nice, nice, nice. Cool, cool. No seven, no seven. Six rolls. This is super freaking good now. Um, I rolled my brick, and uh, I rolled an 11. Black should be able to settle here pretty soon with that sheep now. I like holding just a tad bit more. Since I'm at three points, and I might get robbed because, wow, red's at three points. I think that might think that and rob me. So I do want to... Since if I port my brick for an ore, or for a wheat, I mean... The problem is my hand becomes too vulnerable to getting jacked. Okay, there's a 10. Okay, let's see. Orange is hunting down for the, the settlement. They don't... Actually, they have a road. Okay, that's a 4. So maybe I could have ported for that wheat. Okay, so they're willing to trade, like, multiple bricks here. They're willing to trade, like... Okay, I guess not. I guess not. Brick for sheep. Maybe I should have tried that myself with blue. If I knew blue is going to take a brick for sheep, I should have done that myself, really. That's a mistake, I think. Maybe, maybe. Want to ore for wood? No, I don't think so. So now, now if I roll a 7, I'm going to be pissed off at myself and say, like, I should have traded a freaking 2 brick for a wheat and just trusted myself for this exact situation. If I roll a 7, that's actually so nasty. Since I dump... Okay, that's... Sh no 7. 4? Okay, that's pretty lucky here. Okay, I'm getting super freaking lucky here. In terms of pacing sake, do I upgrade the 4 5 11 or the 6 4 11? I almost think the 4 6 4 11 is better. This is triple shared, but I need the triple sheep. And double wheat is also extremely, extremely valuable. The 11 wood is also not bad if I can expand here. But the sheep is just so freaking good. I think I'd rather some have something like this, I think, over the 4, 5, 11. And from here on out, I just pop, 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 right? I think this is the best move. Yeah, just, just do this and port and pop. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. All right, yeah, this is good. This is good. I did this even though it messes up my ratios a little bit. Give me like this plus... Two brick and a wheat? <laughs> That's too much, though, I think. Don't think you ever give me the three cards. I'm willing to give you the city, but I need to empty out your hand. Whatever. Or, or do it for three brick. She, no, not, not for three brick. Three brick doesn't do that much for me. Okay. Well, maybe maybe I regret it, since now now this kind of sucks. Because now, uh, if I upgraded the other one, I'd be able to get a city. So this sucks. Um, Two wheat for two ore? I'll do it for this, maybe. And I don't think anyone else has this. I'll do wheat for ore. That's the best I'll do. Since it's a city for me. Nah, I do have to do something like else like a sheep or like a brick. And the thing is, this this is a city for him. I know he can do it. Maybe, yeah, there we go, there we go. That sheep is so valuable for me. I, I know, I know. I give him a city, but I get like a more a city and a, like a city plus a sheep. And that sheep is so valuable for me. I think in this position, I have to go hunting for Mr. Blue here. Black is still in a strong position, but the thing is, now they have no sheep. They're kind of the road guy, but they have too much brick. I think this in this position, I think it's mostly just Blue who's the, the guy I'm scared of. It's obviously super goaded. I'm able to uh, buy a D card. VP. I just have to go ahead and city. Now this is a strong position. I'll take this. Man, <laughs> who cares if I get plowed? This is just good overall. And oh, you should solo block me. Okay, cool. Yeah, solo block me, man. I have no cards. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. This is good. This is good. Now I just have to... The thing is, now I get jacked a bunch. And the problem with my setup still is that it's actually very number reliant. Like, I, I only survive with the 4. Like, the 4 is like a keystone roll. I do have flexibility through this, but these always get blocked. The four elevens are like what like uh, carries me, essentially. And it did give Blue that city. So in terms of pacing sake, I'm pacing like pretty far ahead. I'd like to get more sheaf if possible. But, uh, you know, I think this is still a good trade. That's a city for Black nicely done. And the 5, 8, 10 city is also very good. Oh my gosh, the 4s just don't stop. What the heck? Okay. Oh my gosh! What is this game? Is that road settle or do I road road settle over here? I like road settling. Let's pop the dev cards first. One, road building. Oh my gosh, I don't want to say anymore. <laughs> I think I just have to go ahead and uh, drop a road here because then we can go to the 8-3. Or we just get a knight. We need a knight. We need a knight. Year plenty. Okay, interesting. I think if that's the case, I should just go for road like this. Yeah, I think this is fine dropping a road like this, which seems super weird because I can get plowed by black, but he's only at one card and he is blocked. But the 11 did roll. He does have one wood. He's only got one wood. It's impossible for me to get plowed here. I'm going to drop this, I think. Okay, six, that's fine. I just need a single five to roll here. But if a five rolls, black can still plow me. But it doesn't matter since I have the road bidding on the next turn. It's impossible for him to plow me. 
And this he gets rolls of five, trades two ore for like a wood brick, which is not possible. Twelve? Okay. Yeah, th this is good. <laughs> oh my gosh, everything is rolling! What's going on in this game? I swear I'm not cheating. <laughs> what the heck? Sheep ore, I'll, take, I'll do this. Sheep ore. But I'm really stretching him to the maximum. I don't think he ever takes this. Wood for sheep, maybe. Or wood for ore, maybe. Wood for ore. Yeah, I don't think I take that. Oh my gosh, what is this game? I swear, I hacked. I, I, I hacked colonists right there. What the heck? <laughs> wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. No, I think, is there any way I can get nine points? Oh, I might have messed up. I might have messed up. No, 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 I didn't, no, I didn't. Okay, okay. Okay, no, no, this is good, this is good. All right, th that's the fastest game I ever won. Like, what the heck? Well, actually, no, I I'm a slow player. But in terms of turns, it's a 23 turn game. <laughs> These are the dice stats. Seven fours, three elevens, and one, just enough sixes. I promise you guys, I didn't like bribe the colonist developers. <laughs> what the hell is this? I got like the perfect Ds. Two VPs, a road building. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I won up fours and elevens. I mean, I think the setup is pretty good. But also, the, I got extremely lucky with my rolls too. I mean, that's pretty anticlimactic. I thought this third round was gonna be like a, oh no, I had to hustle, hustle. Well, cool, so my tournament score is nine points, win and win. And with a score like that, it's going to guarantee me into the semifinals. So uh, tomorrow, I'll be playing inside the semifinals and you'll see me there. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much. There's not too much analysis I can give for this game. I just kind of got lucky. In some games, you just get lucky. You know, I, I'd say Catan is very much of a skill game, but sometimes you just get lucky.